Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my healthy morning routine in Japan. This is my first morning routine in Japan. I hope you guys are having a great day and have a great weekend. Let's get right into the video. I wake up at 5.30 in the morning. Devin and I wake up at 5.30 in the morning and he puts my Himalayan salt lamp on to start off my morning to help me wake up and I use an essential oil. I'm using Citrus Fresh here. It smells really good and it's just one way to help me wake up. And then I head over to the bathroom and I wash my face with the cold water to also help me to wake up. Morning sheepies. I make my bed every single morning. It's just a great way for me to set up my day and I just love going into a made bed at nighttime. Then I wear my gym clothes. I have them out already. I prepare them the night before. After that, I have to take Shiva out right away. Either Devin or I will take her out. She is super impatient. She, once we wake up, she has to go to the bathroom. And as you can see, it's a rough morning because my pants are inside out. <laughs> I went to the gym with my pants inside out, not realizing that they were inside out until I got there. And then there was a sock stuck to me as well. Here in Japan, we have these soda vending machines. We have two of them. They are in, I think, almost every tower, but our tower definitely has them. And it's just pretty funny that we just have vending machines in our tower. It's different than the States. Snow. I smell snow. It's so cold. It's snowing. Good morning. One great thing about living on a military base is that the gym is literally two minutes away. Today I did a leg and booty day. Here's a couple exercises for you to see. Every time after my workouts, I always go in the sauna. I love the sauna. There's so many health benefits. On top of it, it's my way to meditate for 10 minutes and I just love to be in there. A great thing I love to do for my shower is to put a couple drops of eucalyptus. Good morning everyone. I just finished taking a shower. I didn't wash my hair and I'm in my cozy winter robe. I believe I bought this in Target. Yeah, I bought this in Target and I have my amazing jumbo slippers. These are from Deseo. Deseo is a dollar store here or almost a dollar store. Not everything is a dollar. It's amazing. It's an amazing store here in Japan. Anyway, I'm gonna put my makeup on. We're gonna make breakfast and we're gonna, you know, finish this morning routine. I have my clothes laid out. I'm gonna be wearing these purple socks. Forever 21 shirt that I just got. Jeans. What is it? You want to go outside? guys i'm all dressed and ready to go i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing today i'm wearing this forever 21 peach color long sleeve top it's like a button up on the sleeve i have my michael kors watch on it's rose gold but it matches my shirt i have my alex and ani elephant 
charm. Then I have my rose quartz crystal bracelet. I have my feather earrings on. You can't really see them that much. Then I have my JC necklace that I got from my Nyama Soul Box, the fall edition for tapas. And I'm wearing these new jeans that I got. They're like light jeans, light jeans, skinny jeans. They're super stretchy. I got them at the BX in the girl section because I'm really petite, really tiny, and I'm only 5'1", guys. Like, I'm just... Petite. And then I'm also wearing these fun purple fuzzy socks because why not? Now, I usually sage every day. At least I try to make a point to sage every day. Sometimes I'll sage after waking up if I have like bad dreams. Usually I will sage after the gym, after I get all ready and stuff, just to set that intention, to clear my mind, and to detach all the energies that have attached to me from going in the gym because the gym is always busy with a lot of people. And I'm an empath and I can hold on to people's energy even if I don't mean to. Let's go clear some energy, guys. Every morning I fix up the couch and I fold the blanket. She was on the blanket so I'm not gonna do that, but I do this every single morning. Hi guys! I'm all dressed, showered, makeup done, and ready to take on today's day. I always have my vitamins after I eat because it gives me that sustainable energy that I need. My B vitamins, B12. I have B12 in there. I have vitamin C, vegan omegas. I had my probiotic, my vitamin E, and then I had my super lysine. I have the super lysine every other day. Oh, and then I have my vitamin D. I just ordered my vitamins yesterday. I love care of, not a sponsored video, but I just love it because it's in a package. The package is actually biodegradable. You could put it in like a compost. This helps me to be consistent with taking my vitamins because it's in one packet besides the other three that I take, but it's so easy because I just open it, it's ready to go. As you saw, I had my Ezekiel toast for breakfast. I might have some oats, it depends because I kind of have lunch early. I have it around 11, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock is normal, but Devin comes home for lunch at 11 o'clock. If you live a really busy lifestyle, which most of us do, I like to read a little passage from The Secret. It's a daily teaching. They're really short. There's 365 daily teachings, so there is a teaching for every day of the year. Today is Wednesday, and it, we're on day 28, I believe. We have like 28 more days of the year and it's actually day 339 on here. This doesn't go by the month If you have a problem with a member of your family who is negative begin by writing a list of all the things you appreciate about that person Remember to include gratitude to them for giving you a great desire for positivity in your life Because that is a gift they are giving you as you focus with all your strength on appreciation You will not only reduce your exposure to the negativity, but at the same time you'll be attracting positive people into your life Get yourself onto the appreciation frequency and the law of attraction can surround you only with people who are in a positive state. That teaching is actually exactly what I needed to hear and I hope it's exactly what you needed to hear as well. Next up I have my crystals for the day and actually these are my crystals for the week. I have been gravitating towards these crystals so they're my everyday crystals. I have been really into my selenite wand like I even lay with it while I'm watching TV at night. Devin will always bring it to me but this is a selenite wand and it's really big and I got this at the gem show in Tucson, Arizona. I have been using my aventurine crystals which aventurine is really good for helping you with spiritual growth and helping you to keep focused on your tasks and it's green it's really good for healing and really helps with stimulating the heart chakra selenite is really good for stimulating the crown chakra and selenite is really good for clearing negative energy clearing old stagnant energy and it's really good for clearing any other crystals selenite does not need to be recharged the last thing that I like to do I like to pull one card a day I just started doing this I'm using my deck messages from your angels this is the first Oracle card deck that I've ever Ever gotten from Doreen Virtue. My first deck ever is Trust Your Vibes by Sonia Choquet and I'm gonna pull a card and I'm gonna let you guys know what card I get from the angels so I'll be right back. 
I got two cards and these two flew out at me. So usually when cards fly out, that means they're meant to be for you. I got Ariel. It's a really pretty one. I've gotten this one before and it says new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. And then I got Shanti. And Shanti is, there's like a lion and a lamb in the picture. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So those are my two daily cards and I like to put them by my desk just to have them so I could be reminded through the day or I'll have them with me. Usually I will write what I'm grateful for and I would write it in a notebook. I tend to go through phases and then I would stop doing it. For that reason, I just downloaded this app and I looked in like the, the Play Store and I just looked up gratitude journals and I found this one that is called Presently. This is what it looks like. It's really simple, so easy to use. You just click on the day, it puts the day up for you. Then I write 10 things that I'm grateful for and for the morning I start with three things that I'm grateful for At the end of the night I will just reflect on my day and then finish it off and write the rest of what I'm grateful for Well that is a wrap for my healthy morning routine Thumbs up down below if you like this kind of video and also thumbs up if you want to see my nighttime routine in Japan Make sure you hit that subscribe button to hang out with me every Monday and Friday are my upload days And I'll see you guys in my next video Namaste the light in me honors the light in you